welcome back nail queens in today's video i'm going to be doing a memorial day mammy set but instead of doing my regular talk through where i tell you what i'm doing today's video is going to be a q a where i answer all of your guys's burning questions about two months ago i asked on my instagram if you guys had any questions and a bunch of you guys submitted questions and honestly it's taken me a while to record a Q&A style video. So uh, I'm going to put on my appeal base and get into dipping. Before I start the q and I'm going to let you guys know that I have everything linked in the description box below. If you have any questions throughout the course of this video about my technique or what I am doing, ask it in the description in the comment box below and leave a timestamp telling me where the time in the video of the question that you have of what I'm doing and I'll answer you the best that I can. So the first question is how often do you change your jelly tips? I try to wait at least two weeks. I really want to be the kind of person that makes it about a month but I really can't stand too much grow out on my jelly tips because I like this length. Like the length I have on now is perfect. I don't want them any longer so I try not to let them grow out too much the way I would with builder gel. Are you keeping all the kittens? If you guys are not aware, we recently took in a mama cat who delivered four kittens. Three of them are alive and thriving and beautiful, but unfortunately we're not keeping them. We currently in our house have seven cats, total seven. And that sounds crazy. I never in my life thought I would have seven cats in my house at one time. So we are trying to find them permanent homes and get back down to three. Ooh, was the slap fake? I assume this is referencing the Chris Rock and Will Smith situation. I think it was real, to be honest. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you already have ideas for your wedding nails? Yes, I do. If you guys have not seen, I recently did a collab with Kimber's Creations on a wedding trio. So I have been working on trying out different combinations to see something that I would like. So yes, I do have ideas. How is your nail drill from AliExpress working out? So if you're talking about the turquoise one, I had to end up throwing it out for some reason. It just wasn't charging past one battery line. Uh, so I actually have another one that I purchased from AliExpress that looks almost identical to one that another dip powder company offers. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't used it. So I do not know about that one and how well it's lasting because I haven't tried it yet. This question says, I can't figure out why my jelly tips pop off so fast. So I would honestly have to see your technique or you have to tell me step by step what you do from your natural nail prep all the way to the end of it and the type of products that you use in order to be able to help you, to be honest. I think that thin products or not having a gel primer or gel base definitely contribute to this, but it can be a lot of different reasons. Like if the gel isn't curing properly because your lamp isn't working well anymore, there's a lot of different factors and you have to rule things out. How are the kittens? I really love all of the kitten questions. They're doing great. They had their first checkup with the vet about a week or two ago. They all got weighed and had their checkups and their first round of shots. So they were not happy about that. And boy, were they tired after that visit, but they go back in mid June for their second checkup and everything. So we're gonna get another checkup. But speaking of the kittens, you can look on the screen here. One decided to help me do my manicure right now and she's just hanging out. Actually, it's a he, it's the boy. It's the only boy of the litter. Switching back to nails. This question is, do you have an emergency nail kit in your bag? What's inside? So yes, I used to carry an emergency nail kit when I worked outside of my home. I work from home now. And what I kept inside was clear or French pink dip powder, some nail tips, and then a small liquid set. So something to get me by in case a nail popped off or I needed to add a tip because I broke a nail, something of that nature. And I think I had a cuticle stick and a file in there as well. I can't remember anymore. Is there a brand you just don't like at all? Yes, there's a handful of nail related ones. There's some clothing related ones, food related ones, 
jewelry related ones, you name it. There's probably a brand that I don't like in probably every category, either because the products just didn't work on me or I just don't like like something they did publicly, something like that, you know, the typical reasons. So there is tons of kitten content in this video, it seems like, and thank you guys for all your questions about the cats as well. This little fella decided to join me again. They love hanging out while I'm doing my nails, sitting on my lap, things like that. So I do let them on my nail desk or on my lap while I'm here so that I can supervise them. And I do to try to put things away when they're when I'm like not in the room so that they don't like hurt themselves, poke themselves, or uh, this one has started to chew on my swatch sticks. So I've had to put those away as well. But here he is playing with my ombre brush. I just love seeing the cats like learn new things, learn how things feel, learn to see if they can jump and all that, which one really ate shit the other day when she tried to jump on a ladder and then did not make it, poor baby. But yeah, thank you guys for all the kitten questions. Oh, I love this question. How did you learn Spanish? So, si tú no sabes, yo puedo hablar español. I am fluent in Spanish because my grandmother is Spanish and I was raised by my grandparents growing up. I lived in Spain for two years with them and we visited every other year as a child. My grandmother predominantly only spoke Spanish. She only spoke English outside of the home if she needed to. So I learned Spanish through my family members, my grandmother, and now that I live with my fiance and his entire family speaks Spanish, I get to speak Spanish on a regular basis and I love that. Next question is, any other jelly tip brands you'd recommend? So aside from the Painted Desert, which is my absolute favorite, they fit me the best. A Prey would be my second favorite. I do love their jelly tips. I think they, while I don't think they're comparable to the Painted Desert, they definitely have great size and arch, like um, natural versus sculpted options. I do recommend waiting for a sale to purchase if you're like me and you're trying to save as much money as possible for a wedding or a major event in your life. So yeah, I do like a prey. How do you fill your jelly nails? I follow a method that Kate's Nail Corner posted a couple months ago about using gel base and gel top coat to fill. I will link her video here in the cards so you can see it if you want to. And I'll also link it in the description box so you can, click it, can watch it after this video. But um, I recently did a video kind of covering how to blend and seal the cuticle area of a jelly tip. I think a fill would basically be the same concept, but using a thicker top coat. If you had to keep just one dip powder color, what would that be? Man, this is a tough one because I do have a lot of favorites in different categories. I would think, I do love Rebel Nails Kawaka, but it is more yellow tone, so it wouldn't be a year round color for me. I would think I would go for something more sheer, more neutral that would blend in, which Rebel Nails Erica is definitely like that. Or I love myself a good red, so Frida by Soul Dip is gorgeous. I love red dip powders, something that just like applies really well and it's just like easy to work with. I probably would do a good red as well. So this next question asks if I have any new projects going on. And this question was asked like the end of March. That's when I did the Q&A post. So at the time, yeah, I did have a new project, which was my Kimber's Creations wedding trio that I did with Kimber. Uh, I really thank her for pulling all that together and helping me with those bridesmaids gifts. But I don't have anything new since that, I am working and collaborating with brands to create content for their social medias, but that's about it in terms of projects that are nail related. For myself, for my own channel, I am working on a creator series. So like a content creator series where I like dive into behind the scenes about being a content creator and like simple things I would I mean I call them simple but I've been doing this for three years now so it might not be simple to others but I want to like show people more of the content creator related stuff especially for new and aspiring content creators out there who have burning questions or just 
they don't know how to navigate the content creator space. So I'm really trying to build a YouTube series of videos based on topics like that. Oh, another great question, and it's related to content creating. So how to get PR or partnership with brands? Actually, I think that this could be a great video topic for a content creator series, don't you think? So I don't reach out to brands for partnerships or PR. Um, I think I've tried it like twice in my nail career lifetime. It sounds really weird to say nail career, by the way. In my DIY nail enthusiast lifetime, I've tried it twice. Um, one, it was kind of solicited because the brand did say, hey, if you want to partner with us, send us a DM. So that was like an open invitation. The other time was when I was doing my liquid series. Um, <laughs> I never got a response back on that one. So I was like, yeah, not doing this again, but it is a way to do it. I just don't do it that way. So I usually have my email listed in the description box of my YouTube videos. I have it listed on all of my social medias. That way, if any brands want to reach out to me and work with me, all of that is they're visible and I'm easy to reach and I get to pick and choose who I want to partner with. So this question is cat related. I would like to know everything about your cat giving birth. <laughs> so it's, um, it's a, I wouldn't like, I didn't really get to witness her like pushing the baby out. I did witness the last one start. She started to push and I was like, oh, there's a little black blob coming out of that region. I'm just going to let you do your thing. The vet said that the cats, the mother cats will usually handle everything on their own. They don't really need much help in that department. So I just made sure to check back like every 30 minutes and see how that was going. And um, yeah, so she gave birth in a litter box. Yeah, such a wonderful place to give birth if you ask me. <laughs> it was not. It was a pain in the butt to clean off all the litter off of her, off of her kittens, and then transfer her into the bed that we actually had set up for her to give birth in. But they said that mother cats will nest where they want to and they will give birth where they choose to nest and we can't control that. And she chose a litter box. So this one says, I keep getting mildew or something under my dips. How do I prevent this? So this sounds like it might be Pseudomonas. It is a bacteria, actually. It's a, it has a green, like it leaves a green stain on our nails. And it usually gets there because there's like trapped moisture between our nails and the nail enhancement that we're putting on. So it is possible that you are um, washing your hands before you do your nails, which is great. You want clean nails and they're not completely dry before you put on your dip powder. So you might want to make sure you leave enough time for the dip powder or your, your nails, your fingernails to actually dry completely before you actually do your nails. Um, that or, um, I mean, I don't know what else could be causing that moisture other than water. So, but if it's not going away in time, like growing out as your nails grow out and it's like constantly there, you might want to see a dermatologist about that. So the next question is also, what is your favorite slow drying dip liquid? I feel like mine are quick or I work like a sloth, LOL. <laughs> Thank you for adding the sloth emoji, love that. Um, my favorite that I use and I'm using in this video right now are the Triple D regular dip liquids. I've been using them since early 2020. She came out with them in 2019. I started using them in like February of 2020 and I've used them on and off since. I also really enjoy the Manny Boss dip powder ones. Those work great for me. I haven't ventured much since finding the Triple D and the um, Manny Boss ones. Those are definitely in my like top tier favorites. They do dry slower. Um, if your room is colder as well, then they will dry slower as well. So the colder it is in your room, the slower things dry. So I'm just dusting everything off right now. As you can see, I had a lot of glitter stuck to my skin. I'm almost done with this mani, yay. Um, I really like how this ombre turned out. And um, I know it's Memorial Day weekend. I know a lot of people celebrate with barbecues because they treat it like the first kickoff to summer. But um, 
So I would like to take this time to remember all of these service members who have fallen, who have given their life for our country because that is what Memorial Day is truly about for me, is to remember service members who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. So happy Memorial Day to those who celebrate. If you have lost a loved one or you know of someone who has lost a loved one to um, combat who have died in the, because of the military service, then uh, my heart goes out to you. I'm sorry, and I hope that you are doing okay this weekend. I can only imagine how many feelings that brings up. So uh, next question is for jelly tips. If you don't use any gel, how would you fill the curve between the nail and the tip? So I assume you would be using nail glue. I know the Painted Desert sells a press on nail glue. So you can definitely use like dip power base or nail glue. I haven't tried this, but I know of a couple content creators. Corky's One and Nails is one of them who recently did a video on this. I'll link it here in the cards and the description box if you are interested in how to do that. I haven't tried it myself. So I couldn't give my own personal experience opinion on it, but it's similar to press on nails. You would glue, add glue to the underside of the tip and then glue it onto your nail, like press and hold. Ooh, um, I also saw Nail Career Education use acrylic, acrylic powder and monomer to do this. And it's actually something I wanna try. I don't know when I'm gonna try it, because monomer stinks, but I definitely want to try that out. What do you guys think? If you guys want me to try that, let me know in the comments below and I would love to give it a go. So this next question asks, what are my most used nail things? So you see me using this orange buffing block right here in this clip that I use with like every single dip powder mani. It is a must for me. Um, another most used is the triple D dip liquids I was talking about earlier cuticle precision tool to clean around my cuticles, cuticle oil. Oh my goodness. I use cuticle oil like skin cream, um, the CeraVe skin moisturizing cream. I use that daily. What else do I use? Um, jelly tips. I basically have been wearing jelly tips since November, I think is when I started introducing jelly tips into my nail routine. So yeah, jelly tips would be added to that. I'm trying to think what else is the most used nail related item. Let me let me peek over to my desk. Oh, um, what are they called? Those 3D printed things. So liquid layers sells like finger rest, bottle rest. I use those every single time I do a mani. I really like those. Puppy pads. I have a whole video on like dip powder starter kit products. Practically almost everything in that video I still use every single time I do a mani. So I'm gonna link that here for you guys if you are interested in seeing that. The next question is favorite baby pink, pale pink solid dip powder. Uh, another vote goes out to Rebel Nails Erica. It is kind of sheer and translucent though. So the next favorite like baby pink, solid pink, I would think of is um, the triple D color. Gosh, what is it? Ice Cream Social, Ice Cream Social. I love that one. It's like a pinky nude, to be honest, but I am in love with that color. It is so beautiful. I would have to definitely add that to my list. I definitely want to try Anna's Choice. That one's also from Triple D. It looks really pretty. I own it. I just haven't worn it yet. So Anna's Choice is on my list, and who knows? It might replace Ice Cream Social as a favorite for me. So I think this is the last question that was on the Q&A post, and it says, do you use a dust collector fan? If so, what one do you recommend? So I do use a dust collector and I did a tutorial or kind of a review tutorial on it. It's the Melody Suzy dust collector. I'll link the review here and I'll link it below as well if you want to check that out after this video. And I love it. It's pretty like low sound. Like obviously it's not going to be completely silent, but it's pretty low in sound so it wouldn't disturb someone in the room. Um, you can definitely still hear like your TV and stuff like that. Uh, so I do like the Melody Susie one. They gifted it to me for a review and I really like it. That's why I keep recommending it. I'm very happy with it and it has a very nice sleek design to it. So I'm like, ooh, it's, it's pretty, it's small. Um, I mean, what more could you ask for? Pretty and not bulky and doesn't get in the way. It's lightweight and doesn't make noise. Okay, that's great. 
Um, I use it when I do like builder gel removal and jelly tip removal. I don't use it as much as I should, mainly because I like pop off my dip powder because I use peel base. So, but if I was filing off dip powder or something like that, I would definitely use it. So I recommend that dust collector. There's tons out there on the market. So if you're on Amazon, check the reviews, like thoroughly check them. Do not just trust the little star rating because sometimes the most recent reviews can be telling if there's a decline in quality. So I'm basically done with my mani. I'm applying cuticle oil to my nails and there is only one last like submission to the Q&A post and it's not even a question. I just wanted to tell you how awesome you are. Love you kitty smoochy face thank you so much for saying that and it's really a great way to leave off this video i really appreciate everyone for submitting questions if you ever want to do another q a post head over to my instagram and check out my stories so here is the manny photo that i took outside i really love this color and this ombre thank you guys so much for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next video bye